Welcome back to another Taylor Theory Quickie. This short question asks which altimeter depicts 8,000 feet? Is it altimeter number one, number two, or number three? Now they all do look very similar, so make sure you have a close look before we move on. So here we are back in the trusty Cessna 172 six pack version. And you can see here at the altimeter, we are currently level at 1,300 feet. We can tell that by reading the needles on the altimeter. We have the big needle, which sweeps through a number on the altimeter face for every 100 feet we climb or descend. The small needle sweeps through a number on the altimeter face for every 1,000 feet we climb or descend. We also have the often neglected long and thin needle, which is the 10,000 foot indicator, which sweeps through a number on the altimeter for every 10,000 feet we pass, which is not many in this aircraft. So let's initiate a climb to 8,000 feet and see how the altimeter reacts. So I'm now establishing us into a climb at 800 feet per minute. Notice how the large needle moves at the fastest rate as we pass through the hundreds of feet. The small needle moves at a much slower rate towards the next thousand feet that we're climbing to while the long and thin 10,000 feet needle moves at a rate which is virtually undetectable at this rate of climb. As I've now increased the speed of the playback, you can see that the 10,000 foot indicator needle is gradually moving towards the one on the altimeter face, the closer we get to our 8,000 feet level of altitude, as we're now obviously much closer to 10,000 feet than we were when we were down at 1,300 feet earlier on. So now as we level off, if we have a look at the altimeters given to us in the question, we can see that only one of them has a 10,000 foot indicator needle that's in a position that makes any sense. So the answer to the question which altimeter depicts 8,000 feet is altimeter number two.